Welcome back to CTV Morning Live. There's a look at uh, a beautiful fresh peach that I made this morning. Uh, Danny and Corey were up at around 5 o'clock this morning from Gabriel Pizza, making sure we had nice fresh ones. So you really get a sense of what you can expect tomorrow. A wonderful day uh, down at City Hall uh, for Do It For Darren. Uh, joining us is uh, our city councilors, Maria McRae and Alan Hubley. Great to have you on the show. And uh, Gab uh, George Hanna is joining us from Gabriel's Pizza. Great to have you here as well. Thank you. Let's start with you because this is uh, something you wanted, an initiative that you started, and it all falls into place tomorrow. It does. Um, first of all, one of my interests this term of council and last term was mental health issues. Unfortunately, with the passing of Darren Richardson, um, there was a foundation created, so it's an easy thing to raise funds for. But most importantly, with Councillor Hubie, we want to raise awareness. So we're thrilled. Gabriel came to the table, donated all the pizza for tomorrow. So every dime that we sell goes to the foundation, and we get to talk about an issue that some people don't always want to talk about. Absolutely. So this will happen tomorrow down at City Hall. Yes. Uh, so you guys have your meetings. We do. So <laughs> something to look forward to getting out of the meeting. And we have a great lunch break. And so far, we've sold well over 150 orders of pizza. So we're raising a lot of money, but there's lunch available. And the opportunity to talk about mental health issues is really important to us. And it gives us a chance to, again, say thank you to a great corporate sponsor. Uh, George, we're going to get to you in a second now. But for you, Alan, I mean, this was something you guys intended an event last year together that had a lot of focus on, on, on mental health. And this was just after uh, Do It For Darren. Is it interesting to see only a couple months later is when Jamie ended up, you know, getting sick? Is this an interesting combination for you to just see the way life turns and that this is really important here? Absolutely. Like uh, as you mentioned, I did attend Maria's uh, fundraiser last year, and because uh, the issue was always near and dear, uh, but now we're one of the, the families that were touched by uh, the services that are. Uh, this will help fund. And it is creating awareness. That's been the biggest thing is, is talking about it and, and getting rid of that stigma, especially. And then you have people like George that come on board. You, you sent him a call. I and, and you didn't even know what she was going to ask you, no, and you, were, you already said no, yes. Exactly. <laughs> Maria called me, and uh, we're good friends. We were talking, and she said she had an initiative. She wanted to do something at City Hall for a fundraiser. And I said, whatever you want, I'm in. She said, are you sure? I said, I'm in. He didn't even ask. You didn't, you didn't even know. Didn't, so didn't at, know. at this rate, uh, staff are going to be working overtime tomorrow. Yeah, exactly, pretty much. And on top of that, tomorrow, any pizza that we sell across the city, we're going to donate a dollar towards the cause. That's a, that's a big step to take right there. Not only are you doing the pizzas for the lunch at City Hall, but anywhere around the city. Anywhere around the city. That takes that takes a lot. And it's neat for small businesses and things that are close and dear right here to Ottawa to be able to step on board and do it. Definitely. Whatever we can do for, for the community, we're in. And we're all the way in. It, it's amazing when you look at when George came forward. He didn't even ask how many pizzas. And we're well over 300 slices right now. But the notion that a small business would come forward to say yes right away, and then on top of that, a dollar from every pizza. So even though we're it's having huge. pizza, Pizza for lunch. I'm going to encourage my hubby to have pizza for dinner tomorrow, <laughs> just for the cause. Pizza it's pizza day all around. Pizza now, day in because you've sent this out to so pretty much all the city of Ottawa employees yes. and different offices, you have people that are sending in orders. But it's going to be five dollars for two slices. It is. If you can't get your orders in now, because it's going to be crazy for you making everything, uh, and then it'll be first come first serve for those that are heading through city hall, city hall tomorrow. It will. And also, we have a corporate sponsor who gave drinks, so we have ten cases of soft drinks on their way as well. Alan, you really feel the, the support of the community? I do. Uh, I do, and uh, it's for a good cause. Like we, you know, we talk to a lot of people that are using the services and that, that uh, this will go a long way like to get the information out there, get the, the info, like the numbers, where to call and so on. This is, these dollars do make a difference in people's lives. It really, even just the cost of a pamphlet, of, of yep. having something available in schools, everything is down to the town to the dimes. Yep. Great to have you here. Thank you so much for Thank the you. initiative. Thanks, Leanne. Uh, Thank Alan, we're always thinking about Thanks, you and George. your family. No uh, and uh, now Thank we're all George. craving pizza. The smell is <laughs> intoxicating here this morning. Uh, we're going to take a commercial break. We're also going to be checking back in with Sarah Freemark, uh, getting an amazing experience uh, in Montreal uh, with Sky Venture. We'll have a chance to check back in with her as well. We're back right after this.